Hey guys, welcome back to the Electric Bike Lab. In today's video, we're gonna be building this 52 volt, 20 amp hour compact triangle battery. This is an open source design that we've designed and we've released the files for any of you guys to download. You can 3D print it at home on your own 3D printer. It's a pretty cool design because it's using 21700 cells. We've got an integrated display on the lid. We've got an on off switch. We've got cutouts so that it's able to fit into most frames. You've got Velcro straps all over the place. We've even got the cell holders that you can just print out super easy. We're gonna be using Samsung 50G cells. These are 5,000 milliamp hour, uh, 10 amps discharge. This is a 14S 4P format, so that's gonna allow 40 amps of reliable current flow, about 2000 watts. And what's really cool is that we're gonna be using a Bluetooth BMS. So these are a fairly new release. These use kind of the latest and greatest of new technology and MOSFETs. So this thing is rated at 50 amps. That's able to flow 150 amps peak. Probably not gonna need that much power, but it's pretty cool and we're gonna be showing you how we build it using these custom CNC cut nickel plates. These are pure nickel, 0.2 millimeters, allow for quite a bit of current flow. You don't quite need copper in this application because it's not enough current, but we're just gonna show you how compact this is. It's even able to fit into pretty tiny frames. So you can see even on this medium frame, we've got a ton of space down here We've been able to fit this into some pretty small frames, so it's quite compact, very safe. Um, yeah, check it out. Okay, so the first step would be laying out our cells in the pattern that we made for the pre-cut nickel pieces to go on. So we will lay out our cells and then we will weld with our pre-cut nickel pieces. So now we're gonna weld this pack using our custom pre-cut nickel pieces. And what's nice about these nickel pieces is they have tabs that you can solder your balance leads onto. So that's a very nice feature. So we're gonna weld this pack up. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the sides up with Kapton and fish paper to add protective layer. And then I will put my BMS over here beside the negative terminal and then I will run my leads that way. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the BMS down here on this pack and that is our battery negative terminal. Then I will solder on my battery negative wire and then run the balance leads this way. Okay, so this temperature sensor here, you need to sort of put it right beside a cell. So we'll make a slit through our fish paper and cap down here. And then we will glue it against one of the cells. Okay, so we're gonna put this pack on charge now and charge all the cells up. So the neat thing about this BMS is that it's Bluetooth. So you can use this app that I will show you on the screen here and you can activate the BMS and then monitor all the cell groups, set your current settings and voltage settings, and you can do a lot through this app. 
So if you bind the device on the app, you can get access to a lot of the settings, like the parameter settings, where you can set how many groups are, the capacity, and then protection parameters, and then current settings, temperature settings. And you can also balance it, turn on balance, turn on and off the discharge and charge MOSFETs. So right now we will leave charge on and then we, we will put the pack on charge. So now we're going to be doing all the components on the case. So the display indicator for the battery voltage will go on here and it will get screwed in. And then you have the wire here which will connect to the indicator. And one side will go on the positive, the other one on the negative. And then we have the switch which I'm going to put a connector here and then the other side of the connector on the switch on the BMS and then we have our charge port here which I will put an XC30 connector on the charge and then one side on the battery so the battery can actually be removed out of the case if we disconnect all the connectors. Okay, so this pack has been charged and discharged and as you can see on the BMS app here everything is looking good and the balance is looking good on the pack. Now we can continue finishing up the pack. So what I will do is I will put a positive discharge wire that is the same length as our negative. And then I will put two 18 gauge wires, one on the positive, one on the negative and connect it to our XD30 female so it can connect to the charge port on the case and then I will put this other side of the little connector for the switch on the BMS switch so it can connect to the switch on the case and then we will wrap the pack up with protective glass tape and then we will put it in the case and finish the pack up. Okay, so now we got the pack wrapped up in blue glass tape, so it's all protected. And I have an XC30 cable for the charge port, which will plug into the charge port here. Then I have my switch wires, which will plug into the switch on the case. Then I have my display indicator wires, which will plug into the display here at the end when you put the lid on. So let's put the pack inside the case and then connect all the connectors and then we will put gasket sealant around the lid and then put the lid on screw it in using small screws here and then at the end we can run the cables out and put our discharge connector on
All right, guys, and there you have it. 52 volt, 20 amp hour, nice and compact. And you can just use straps to strap it to the bike, maybe a strip of foam where it's mating to the actual bike. But yeah, we're super happy with this. Um, and like we said, you can download all of the files for free. You don't have to pay. You don't even have to give us your email or address or anything. Just hop onto our website. We'll show you the link right here. Just click and then all these files are totally free to download. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. We really hope you appreciate it. Hope you like it. If you guys do build one of these, send us a picture. We would love to hear uh, about other people tackling on this project. Uh, once again, we really appreciate the support of our channel. Hope you guys stay tuned, stay subscribed. And until next time, keep it on two wheels. We're super close to that 4K subscriber mark and we're gonna be giving away something pretty awesome for that 4K giveaway. So be sure to drop a comment in this video. If you guys have an e-bike project that you're gonna be tackling soon, drop us a comment, let us know what kind of thing that you might need and we're gonna reach out for our 4K. Uh, North America preferably, but if you're in Europe, drop a comment and we'll see if we can do something. We will be picking one comment for that 4K giveaway though. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see. We wanna hear about it. And if you wanna watch another video, click on this one right here. Or if you wanna see what kind of e-bike stuff that we've got, check out this link right here.